Accenture and Microsoft is a showcase that reflects the highest standards of delivery and excellence, where the most up-to-date processes and procedures are deployed on a daily basis to maximum effect. The significance of Accenture's operation in Microsoft is the continuous commitment that presents a challenge every day for every employee. It is challenging at times, yeah, but I enjoy that, you know. I think uh, it makes the day go quicker. Um, I was thinking today that we are Monday, <laughs> and we are already Wednesday, so the time really goes fast. So that means that we enjoy working here if the, the time goes fast, yes, absolutely. You know, they are good work to work for, and if you put in the work, they will look after you. You know, it's you know, a two-way thing. If you show them respect, they'll show you respect. The people are always encouraged to go for, for positions that come up and to, to move their career on within Accenture. So each time it's a challenge to get up to speed, to learn, to get on top of what you're working on. I think every time you reach that milestone, it, you know, it does build up your confidence. This is a very good place to work. Yeah, I would say that because uh, you know a lot of uh, different people. In the center, most of the people are foreigners and for different countries. In my team, for example, we are 28 and 28 people from all over the world again. <laughs> so it's really interesting, you know, in a personal point of view and in a professional point of view. I do what I like doing. Uh, I work in IT. It's not just sitting in front of the PC screen, it's also interacting with people, which makes the uh, job more colorful. I was team leader. After six months, I moved to senior team lead. And now, after a year, uh, I'm starting a new, a new role in the company. Uh, it's junior collection manager in Great and Collections. I'm ready for this new challenge. It's going to be hard. It's different area. It's a completely different job. But, you know, I'm looking forward. You know, to, to come here and to be sure that we will give 100% of us every day. So it's, uh, it's really challenging again. And, uh, I guess it's really, it's really enjoyable actually to come here every day, so we know that every day we'll have new things to do, we'll have new targets that we need to reach, and, uh, and no, it's really, it's really enjoyable, it's really dynamic uh, environment. Key to the success of any organization is the quality of its personnel, and so Accenture is known by its clients for its identity as a first-class provider of professional business services. I think a key factor in our identity has been quality, strong people, strong sense of delivery to Microsoft. So uh, in some ways it hasn't changed. I think it's more what we do has changed maybe as opposed to our identity has changed. But I think they're, they're the key factors that Microsoft look for when they, when they deal with Accenture. It, the people make the difference because the Accenture people inside the Microsoft projects is what makes, makes them happen, get done, get delivered and get results. So what distinguishes our staff here in Dublin is that they're all high performance individuals helping us to meet our clients' objectives day in, day out. I've just come back from Turkey yesterday from visiting our Middle East and Africa headquarters and the feedback from the teams there in the field is they don't really see the difference anymore between an Accenture person and a Microsoft person, which actually is a fantastic thing because we both have the same goals and from the outside in we both look like we're trying to serve the customer. As two global organizations, both Microsoft and Accenture are drawn together by a shared history, a passion for excellence, and a shared vision for the future. This has resulted in a shared culture which is cemented by the collective effort and achievement of both organizations and the restless pursuit for future success. We wanted to find a partner, a person that can hand in hand and sit next to us and be better be faster, be more economical, be more efficient, be more effective, satisfy customers more in a way that we couldn't do. For me, partnering mindset really means three things. Uh, the first thing uh, around partnering mindset is really making sure that you have aligned and clear expectations. And we've spent a lot of time here at Microsoft making sure that we're clear and we understand what Microsoft are expecting from us. And, and we've essentially distilled those expectations into three things. Firstly, driving customer satisfaction. Customer satisfaction is of absolute paramount importance here at Microsoft because they deal with their customers as well and they manage themselves very clearly on the success of that. I think if you speak to a manager or a person working in Accenture and a person working in Microsoft, you'll get a great sense of people trying to be 
get things done right first time, focused on quality, never giving up, going after customer satisfaction, and, and those are attributes that, that we just love. The second thing is what Microsoft call execution excellence. And execution excellence is really around driving excellence in processing on a day-to-day -day basis. It's about right first time quality, it's about driving policy conformance, and really making sure that their internal processes are operating in the right way. The thing that we have to get right, that Accenture have to get right, and it's, it's partly our responsibility in Microsoft, is to get an outstanding team built here, an outstanding Accenture team that can deliver success for Microsoft. When we get that, Accenture will truly be successful. And then the third expectation is around business value. And for me, business value is quite critical to sustaining a long-term outsourcing relationship. And that's really about driving scalability and innovation and making sure that Microsoft meet their cost objectives. We cannot be successful without Accenture being successful, hand on heart. We, we just can't do that. Accenture will not be successful unless we're successful. So, you know, we're in this together. Um, there's no third party, there's two of us in this together. And the key to the success is having outstanding people in Accenture working really closely with outstanding people in Microsoft. And, and we have outstanding people on both sides that can, can do a fantastic job. At Accenture, high performance is not just a term reserved for a tagline, it is something best articulated in the work that is done and the results that are achieved. In August, the partners team um, brought in over a billion dollars of cash, just the one team, so um, we've been doing some, some great performance. In June, Microsoft's year-end, we outperformed previous years, so very far ahead compared to what we were expecting. Extremely capable people. They have fantastic attention to, to detail. The June month was the single, single biggest billing month in EMEA history, and, and the guys closed that month out successfully. All the SLAs were met. Some of the SLAs were met with 100%, and the, and the guys, day in, day out, exceed, exceed their metric targets. Well, they've got dedication to their work. We closed the month of June with a fantastic performance. Um, there was a, a lot of work that needed to be done in the, in the months leading up to that um, month of June, but I, I think we closed in such a strong position. It was a great achievement both for the Accenture team and the Microsoft team and really underlined the work that had been done to get us there. They're eager. They really want to, to deliver um, excellently for both Accenture and for our client here at Microsoft. Their um, level of commitment, energy, drive, enthusiasm, willingness just to get the job done. It's great to work with a bunch of people like that. They're enthusiastic. Over the last quarter, I guess there's been a, a few key things achieved by all of our teams. In the supply chain area, we've taken a team that had very challenging metrics. And over the last two months, every single one of those metrics has been green. That's a, a fantastic achievement considering when we took over, um, n none of those metrics were actually green. They also work very well together. They like to promote a good kind of team atmosphere here. There's a great team spirit and a great team cooperation out here. You know, people are always so it's looking to go beyond the scope of their immediate role to help out other people or you know to do other things just to you know deliver success. So over you know overall the team here is just they impress me every day. Absolutely, they're fantastic. So the metrics have been improving all the time and actually the client has requested that, you know, that, that we raise the bar in a number of areas this year because they have seen how consistently we're, we're hitting the targets. We hit the targets last year and they believe that we can do better and I think we can. But high performance is not just one set of measurements nor is it a fixed state. It is a continuously moving target that requires constant adjustment and consistent refinement. While performance metrics are one method to measure the standard of service delivery, the most valid means to see its benefits may lie in the simplest barometer of all, the client. How do you rate the performance very built, to be perfectly honest? Um, they're achieving a very high service level, month on month within our business stream. I suppose from an execution excellence perspective, our centre have been outstanding. In our most recent quarter in June, they helped us process 100% of all the valid revenue we received in both pre-cut-off and post-cut-off, which is the first time we've managed to do that ever. 
you know, it, it's amazing. You look around, you're leaving here at 10 o'clock at night trying to fix up things, and the guys that are still at their desks, 